Wolf, one of your co-hosts of today's show, always joined by the lovely... <laughs> but crazy. No, I'm kidding. A What's little up, crazy. Oh, Fox. <laughs> Just a little smidge of crazy, but always love to have a good time. I'm always laughing about something, always trying to say some jokes, but uh, thank you to everybody in the chat for joining us. And if you're listening later, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Ones. They have to be like specific to the no, characters. No, he does. You like. Yeah, he gets. I buy the one like, like I, Nightwing or something. I have a whole bunch of Nightwing. I actually have like the <laughs> whole fifty-two setup of Nightwing. So fifty-twos are questionable, like universe stuff. So let's not get into that. <laughs> Don't be dissing. It's Nightwing. I'm... Nightwing is good in no matter what, at like where it is. So true, true, true. I'm happy about it. But but other than that, uh. So, speaking of E3, guys, we we all know that, like, leaks happen. Um, we did hear that Hitman 2 uh, is actually going to be releasing in 2019. That's kind of a, why would you drop now kind of thing. Why, why wait, wouldn't you... Wait, what? I thought it was this year, in November. Yes. Wasn't it? Sorry, oh, okay, I was looking. You said 2019. No, I know it's because I, like, I looked wait, at the wrong one. I missed something. <laughs> I looked at the wrong one. There's another game, Crackdown Three is coming oh, yes. out. So yes, yes, you're yeah. Right, you're right. I looked at the wrong date. I have like a whole no, bunch no. of dates here of like games that have been like finally said they're coming. So I'm kind of, <laughs> I got mixed dates mixed up, guys. But either no, way, fine. either way. So still, why why wouldn't you hold this till E3? Like why bother? Yes. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out lately from different games, but whatever, we'll focus on Hitman. And it's kind of like, why are you telling us this now? Why couldn't you announce it on a stage or anything like that? Or, I don't know, like a special thing during that week instead of prior to a week before people are dropping trailers, people are dropping teasers, streams like Destiny or whatever. Um, now Hitman's you know, posting that they're coming out in November. And I'm like, okay, interesting. Um, I guess the thing about this that I found more interesting is that it's not episodic. It's going to be a full title. Yeah. Like, or like their last title that was episode per episode. Mm -hmm. And it was really weird. Some people liked it, but the majority were just like, I'll wait until the whole game comes out, and then I'll play it. So at least they're listening on that front. They are, but I again, you have E3 right around yeah. the corner. Why... Like, okay, yes, it's going, obviously, them releasing it right now, like, the news about it right now. It'll be in the hype for, what, maybe a day? B 
because of the fact E3 is around the corner. It's not going to be wrapped up into everything that's going on with E3 because of the fact that they've already released the trailers. They've already, like, even if they do show it on someone's stage, um, it's not going to be a high point because everyone's going to throw it off as, oh, well, we already talked about it, so it's not a huge deal. So what else did we not see at E3? And that's what's going to be focused around that. And I I just think this was a bad call on their part. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird that a lot of the devs are doing that right now. They're like, oh, let's get this uh, Rage 2 trailer out of the way. Or let's talk about Destiny. And it's kind of like, oh, but you're not going to wait until the hype week. You're going to do it beforehand. We're talking about it, you know, what, yesterday and today. Nobody's going to be talking about that tomorrow at all. Because tomorrow is... EA's conference. Yep. Then on Sunday is Microsoft conference, which we're going to get more into detail about the schedule later. But yeah, it's kind of like people are going to forget about it. And they're going to say, oh, wait, well, what was it again then? Hitman's coming out because I have all these other games that they announced that I'm thinking about right now. You know? Well, also, so, like later. when all the social media sites, you know how most of these usually, like, they'll lay out, um, like, what they saw at E3, release dates, and chant, like, if. Mm -hmm. Hitman doesn't actually get on a good spot in there, which they may not now that they've already released their stuff. Their name might not even be in those lists. So when people are looking through those lists to see like what's releasing, what months and everything else like that, and that's not in there, Hitman 2 is going to be pushed out of their mind because of that. Like, I really think that was a bad choice. I really do. And I wish they would have just waited. Also, I think it's really interesting the way that they're like dropping these release dates because a lot of stuff's coming out before November. Yes. And this title is like, oh, we're, I think they're the first, they might be the second, uh, title that's coming out in November. But who knows, when we're watching E3, we might see some surprises, we might see some new release dates, and there might be other titles that overshadow this game. Um, you know, when we hear it this weekend or whatever. Well, for sure, because one of the things about Hitman 2 is it's one of those titles you're either into it or you're not and with it releasing in the fall there's so many games that we know are releasing and then again red dead redemption uh you get all obviously your call of duties and we'll end up seeing some other games because i'm sure bethesda will actually release games in the yes, fall yes they do that because they always do that, and they always give you the games that they say that they're releasing to you. So, you know, there's so much, so much that th- this could just, like, it was a bad choice. It was straight up a bad choice. Yeah, I kind of agree with you on that. If, you know, when it comes to Hitman, you either like it or you don't. I don't personally care for it, but I know some people that do. Um, I don't know if, if this is what Tim meant by asking if it's a like, season two. It's a continuation of the last one that was episodic. Yeah, That's it's what just this one is. yeah, it's just saying that it's Hitman too, but it's still the fact that you've still waited, you still should have left it for E3 is what I'm mm-hmm. getting at. Like, especially if they're still with Square Enix, from what I know, they usually are. This could have been on their presser. For on it, Square Enix. see now that's where the the. When I was looking at the information on the publisher and stuff, uh, Square Enix isn't on it. Interesting. I don't know if they still would yeah. be, because I know that, like, different things got bought out. I don't know. The whole situation there, but if there's... Maybe st- that's they why they released it been. early, because they got bumped from Square Enix's actual, maybe, like, Maybe, if they're showing. not. I mean, that's interesting. If uh, Square Enix is not publishing it, then maybe that's why. They were like, we're not in anybody's stage, so we might as well say it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Also, like, uh, at the end of October, we have Red Dead, like you mentioned, and then this title comes out, like, a week after or something mm-hmm. like that. Or a week and a half, or whatever. But it's kind of like, will people be interested to pick this up if they're too busy playing Red Dead? I know a lot of people are checking that out. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, and then what else? So the delays. The delays. Oh my god, the delays. The delays. We always know about delays, but let's talk about a little like okay, let's get into a little bit more E3 without talking about delays right at the moment. Uh, so Saturday, uh, June 9th, eleven a.m. Uh, you are going to see EA, which of oh, course yeah. promises the news of Battlefield Five. 
Hell yeah. Bioware Anthem. That is the game I am waiting for. I want Anthem. Love yeah, to see, see what that game. Yeah, I want gameplay. I want to see what that game actually is going to more or less be. Is that Pacific or Eastern at that time? Uh, it is 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So. Mm, okay. So remember that, guys. June 9th, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, Saturday. EA, uh, their show goes live. Um, EA Play. EA. It is EA Play. Um, I believe you'll be able to watch it on, like, Mixer, YouTube, all, like, all oh, the main yeah. spots. They're I'm pretty sure. Nowadays. So, uh, but yeah, so they promise, obviously, uh, to show Battlefield 5, which I'm sure you're really excited for. You got any comments about Battlefield 5? Oh my god, yes, I've done two videos about it specifically, so I can't I know, wait. which is See? why, let's hear it. Let's hear some of this amazing, amazing... Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see what they have to show me, um, because we all know that when they did the reveal, they showed more, and they said a little bit, and, you know, from what they showed, they already got, like, hammered on regarding that, but with the stuff that they said in interviews after the fact, there's actually more changes coming to this battlefield, and there have been in a long time. Uh, probably combined with all the battlefield changes that they've done, it's probably going to have like probably just that many for this mm -hmm. game. So I can't wait to see them talking about the mechanics, all the new features, all the new stuff that they've added and changed in this game. Uh, which I know some because of the interviews I checked out. But I want them to talk about that a little bit more in the stage. And actually show it because I want to see more gameplay. Yeah, that trailer had somewhat of a gameplay trailer going on kind of thing which yeah everybody's you know basically said that's not the actual game that's a cinematic uh video of what the game would look like whatever that's fine but i yeah. want to see actual gameplay on the stage at e ea play i want to see more because i'm hyped for this game and i want it to be good so yeah we want more damn it give us <laughs> more yeah <laughs> so um but yeah i agree with you i want to see anthem as well i want them to actually Hook me and uh, steal me away from Destiny, definitely. Yeah. What do you mean, steal you away from Destiny? You're still playing that? Really? No, not really, but, uh, yeah. you know, when we get to the Destiny talk, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> we will talk about that. We got some uh, interesting news that uh, came out about Destiny, too, so we'll get into that. Um, all right, so from there, we obviously have Sunday, which is. The big day. I am super excited for Sunday more than any of them because Mom Bethesda is Sunday. But before Bethesda, uh, <laughs> it's actually Microsoft uh, has their conference, which will be Sunday, June 10th at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Now, this is going later than usual because usually theirs is in the morning. Well, usually theirs is in the morning on Monday. Yeah. So well, no. Last year, it. last year they had Sunday. Yeah, but it was in the afternoon. I think it was at six o'clock. Wasn't think. it? It was that late. I, I think it was so. that late. I know it was getting dark when we were doing the podcast when we were live last year. Yeah, I thought that was so, Bethesda. Well, oh yeah, because Bethesda was like at like ten o'clock or eleven o'clock. Yeah, we were already tired like by really that point. Really late. Really late. But um, but yeah, this is a new time for them. Same time as I mean, same day as last year. But new time. A little earlier. So it's on earlier. Yeah. Um, uh, they haven't really, really given out a whole lot of what they're actually going to be talking about. Uh, they do say that uh, Microsoft Theaters uh, is right next door to the LA conference. They are not going to actually be directly with the conference. They do kind of have their own little thing, which <coughs> Bethesda did it first. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so they're kind of like, they're kind of pulling, you know, taking some place from Bethesda's uh, book and kind of pulling themselves a little to the side. Well, from what I know, EA and Bethesda, um, when they left, they were doing their own thing, so they're independent, right? And then Microsoft is still uh, aligned with uh, E3. Yes and so no. So they're still well, partnered. Yeah, but they're... But, but they're not doing it in the same location, but they're still partnered because they're going to have E3 signs everywhere and stuff like that. They're still going to promote each other, you know? Well, obviously, like, they, if E3 lost Microsoft completely, they're, like, what, they're only just going to have a Sony show? Like, that would kind of not really be 
Like, I, I'm sure, like, E3 went to Microsoft and was like, just don't leave me completely, please, please. And they're like, we're just going to be across the street, calm down. Yeah, like, <laughs> that was probably, like, the th like they're like, okay, okay, you can be across the street, but we, we still need both sides. Like, they, you can't have E3 without Microsoft in it because it's one of the biggest leading companies. Like, yes, mm -hmm. they have Sony, but Sony's show is never, um, it's never longer than the actual set time. And again, Sony is only as good as Microsoft. Microsoft is only as good as Sony. They are their competitors. It's kind of like Coke yeah, and Pepsi. They need each other. Yes. It's just mm -hmm. like Coke and Pepsi, just like Apple and... Who the hell does Apple fight with? Android? Google. So Samsung. Um, <laughs> so Samsung, in other words. Both. Either Why way, it, it's where, you know, you need one without the other. E3 would technically be nothing without the other because then it would just become Sony's show. And, well, Sony more or less already has their own show. So, you know. Uh, so when it comes down to it, it is what it is, but I still think it's kind of funny. Um, Microsoft still came out and said that there's a fantastic lineup of new games for Xbox players at E3 2018. It is the biggest uh -oh. E3 yet. I don't think you should have used that, that word, they? Microsoft. You used that last word last year and eh, people were kind of like, you're lacking here. Yeah, you they, they say that every year. That's yeah, they PR do. talk. It's kind of silly at this point to believe them verbatim when they say that. Because we're like, yeah, okay, we'll see. Show me. Exactly. Before you start saying it's the best thing ever. Uh, which obvi obviously we know last year that was not the case. I mean, they had good games. So, you know, I'm not I'm not debating that. But to say that, you know, this that one was better than the year before. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Yes, scrotum, Batman and Joker. Two of the best friggin' one without the other. But, so, like, it'll be interesting to see. Um, again, you know, we're due for another Halo. We're due for another Forza. And, oh, yeah. I see some surprises. of course, you know, who knows? Maybe we might get some Gears. I doubt it because it's kind of, I think, what, two years out? A year out? No, it's a year out. That'd be, like, next year's E3. Yeah, but supposedly it's a spin-off, so we'll see how that we'll goes. See, yeah. That should be surprising. It can be another arcade box. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I still think that's funny. But anyways, so either way, in the long run, uh make sure you guys tune in. Microsoft's uh E three will be Sunday, June tenth at one PM PT time. And 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Mark your calendars, guys. It should be interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Then, followed by that, we're actually hitting up Bethesda. This is, like, yep, my night. pride and joy. I love Bethesda. I really do. I love I love ones that actually come out with their games when they say they're going to. <laughs> and their games are, are good. Let's be honest. Are you interested in any like specific title or you just want to see what they have? I just want to see what they have in general, to be honest. Nice. Uh, their conference is going to be streamed on Sunday, June 10th at 6.30 p.m. PT time and 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Kind yeah. of an odd. Why nine thirty? Why not just I, I, nine or ten? I think they did that last year. I'm not I sure, think so. But I, really... I, think yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think, I think it was like ten thirty or like eleven thirty last year. Yeah, it was late, and we were like, "Wait, why are they doing this?" Yeah, did, yeah we said the same thing. But um, I, it, when it comes to that one, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, well, I hope that they have Doom too, but also <gasps> Ooh, um, that would be great. I want to see more what they have to show regarding Rage. Yeah, because I, I did see too. this. Yeah, the teaser and the little sneak peek. I want to see more of that and how that's going to play out. Yeah. So Bethesda will be holding its annual. I love this. The BE3. <laughs> it is not E3. It is the BE3. Yep. Right there. Right. Uh, press conference. BE3. Uh, it's actually going to be downtown, uh, Los Angeles, obviously, because uh, they're another one that kind of keeps things a little separate from E3. They were actually the first ones to do it, so 
Uh, yeah, but that's the land. <laughs> but that is the land. It is. Yeah. That is what they're yeah. calling it. Like, uh, I think that's what yeah. they turned around and said that they were going to call it was, like, Bethesda land. Yeah, they did that last year. It was so goofy. Yeah. And it kind of, like, slowed down the show a lot. But I think if they do that again, it would be different. Like, I guess the style of it. And the I think they'll up it because aspect. they know, like, they have some comments. Like, you know, they do, they do listen to things. Skyrim um, again. Oh, no. I can't. Uh, so Not again. we know that they're including uh, more info on Rage Two, Fallout seventy six. Oh yeah, yeah. Another one that they showed a trailer before the actual conference. Interesting how they're doing that these days. Yeah, but Bethesda did that uh, when Fallout was actually releasing. Remember, they did it two weeks before. Uh, they don't show a lot though. They only I don't like. Think they... I don't think they showed Bethesda, like, the they, actual Bethesda, game. They? No, no, they didn't show the actual I mean, game. They I just Bethesda, showed the I mean, Fallout, Fallout, though. They just showed, like, a f the, the main Fallout screen, where it's yeah. actually, like, the orange screen or whatever. Yeah, they showed, like, the number, like, wait, standby symbol thing. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah, and on that's the that's how people know. But the fact that they did a whole trailer, I don't remember they did that last year. I mean, I I think me they wanted to the make chat. sure that people, you know... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know I, I about this one, but I think it's weird that they would do that. I, I mean, there's still people that are gonna tune in specifically to see what this game is about. Yeah. So if if you know you had people that are questioning to even watch the conference, I mean, you probably grabbed a couple people for sure. They're gonna be like, hey, I want to see what this new Fallout or this side story Fallout is about. Yeah. It's not a mainline one. It's a side story type yeah. thing. So we'll see how that goes, but I know my brother, it really piqued his interest, so he's going to be paying attention to that on Sunday night. So. Yeah, which, we'll again, it, you know, they did, it's not like they showed a whole lot. I guess yeah. is the main yeah, thing. Yeah, it was a teaser. Like, yeah, because they really, they still kind of stuck to, like, the whole aspect of how Bethesda does things by simply just showing... You know, they they went around his room and then just showed his jacket with 76, but you don't know really anything else. So, well, they, they showed they showed like um his pit boy watch thing. Well, um and somebody supposedly saw like the little writing on it because you know, everybody broke down this trailer, this teaser trailer, well, they broke they down did. details and they zoomed into every little bit and supposedly this has the same release date on their Pit Boy as um, Red Dead, so we'll see if that's actually true this uh, you know, this Sunday. Well, it says twenty seven. Okay, I'm actually looking at right this very second. It says twenty seven October twenty one oh two is what it says. Mm -hmm. So is that to assume that it's releasing October twenty seven? I have no idea. Is that that's what they're what assuming? Are. I guess people were analyzing that stuff and saying, like, what they saw in the background, what this vault actually means, because uh, also they mentioned this vault before in other Fallout games in 3 and 4, I believe. Mm -hmm. So people were talking about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, people are breaking down the everything that they find, everything that they see. I mean, they did the same thing when, when Xbox released the trailers. And people, like, zoomed into every little corner, remember? And they found that 6 is greater than 4 thing, and everybody freaks out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, people love to do that stuff. But we'll see. Like, at the end, it doesn't matter, because you're going to have to watch their presser to see the official information, yeah. or even gameplay, or even a release date. That would be cool. To see what it is in the long yeah. run. Um, and then, of course, we have new content for... What are we going to talk about? Hello? I'm still talking. So. Can she oh, not yeah. hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Fuck. So you guys can still hear me. But she can't hear me. She left. She dropped. I don't know what happened. All right. So uh, <laughs> we'll do we'll do what I do best. Um. They're also going to have, like I said, uh, new content for Prey, which is kind of interesting because, like, 
so I played uh, the demo and stuff of Prey, and I kind of thought it was a little boring. It, it kind of dragged on a bit, which sucked. But in overall, I you know, I was okay with it. So it'll be interesting to see what content they're actually going to be bringing, and we shall see. We shall see. All right, you can I'm hear back. now. I <laughs> yes, I hear you perfectly. I, you disappeared, and then it was no. I could hear you. Lot. I could hear you, and everyone could still hear me. It literally just came down to Sorry something about on that, guys. your end. I backed out, came back, all good. We're good. Go on. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just do what I do best, and I'll just keep talking. So uh, I talked about Prey. I don't know if you, uh, what do you think about Prey? Was it your cup of tea? Um, It was, uh, I guess, overall, no. But I liked what I did play of it. It's just, it didn't keep me hooked mm -hmm. it just it's not something that i'm like oh i want to finish it all the way through because obviously i started it i haven't finished it yeah. um and it's not something i want to see like a part two or anything like that so it's kind of like oh it's a it's an interesting game but that's about it yeah i don't know i don't know what they were thinking on that one hmm. i like to see like just what content they're gonna bring but and then of course yeah. they have a few more surprises as they always do so i am always excited to watch bethesda shows and to see exactly what kind of content they're going to be bringing to it. And I think in, in the long run, Give it's us Quake. Good. Quake. Everybody wants yeah, Quake. Console. Everyone I wants want Quake on console. Have you seen Maybe that they will. crazy shooter on the PC? It's amazing. Yeah, I yeah I've it. seen it. It could probably be like the new thing if they would actually bring it to consoles. Bring it to consoles. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and then after that, uh, starting at 11 p.m. Eastern Time is the developer digital uh yes this is happening again uh developer digital will broadcast its big fancy press conference on twitch tv's channel uh for 2018 developer promises real actual game reveals <laughs> Damn, who are they calling out with that Gosh. i don't know i'm kind of like when i read that i was like hmm are we taking some shots at some media people? Because it's kind of uh, kind of funny that you'd point that out. We will have real, actual game reveals, is their exact Dang. lines. So Calling it out people that don't show the real stuff. <laughs> you be stalking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that was kind of more or less, like, because they did a I think, like, last year they did a lot of talking and stuff like that. Not really more or less actually showing the games. Like, they would kind of be like, oh, yeah, yeah, this, They talked this, and then they and show then, screenshots and people yeah. are like, what the heck? Yeah, and then uh, that was about the gist of it. So, I that think... That was kind of boring. You know, people want to see more. That's what E3 mm -hmm. is supposed to be about, is more. Sometimes more is better... And sometimes I don't know if I'm less gonna check that out. Like it's, I might like read I'll about watch it a after. replay, yeah. I'm not gonna watch yeah. it. I'll watch like the next day or something. So oh. that way I can just kinda scroll through it if there's actually anything good, then I can find something good. <laughs> yeah. That's probably what I would do. Um and then Monday Monday <gasps> at June eleventh, um at ten AM PT time and one PM <laughs> Eastern time. We have Square Enix. Yay. Why are you? Why? Life is strange. <laughs> Why oh, are true. you? Why? Uh, life is strange, girl. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, duh. And also Kingdom Avengers. Hearts three, baby. Kingdom Hearts okay. three. About that, they better say a date because I swear to God, they must say an official date. I'm gonna kick oh my god! It's so funny because like this game was supposed to come out like two years ago, three years ago, mm -hmm. somewhere around there, and they just keep mm -hmm. delaying it. I, Yo. dudes, dudes, Kingdom Hearts needs King to just like release in August. Bring it out when Kingdom there's nothing Hearts else. Fans and... are tired of being uh put on the you know on hold forever. You gotta give them something. It's so hilarious though because like they're like oh my god so we hear so much about Kingdom Hearts three and then yet yeah that's it. They're like oh sorry yeah no we decided we're not gonna like you already have the base of the game. What is taking so long? It's not like it has any form of multiplayer so you don't need to like actually add any form of co op or anything like that. Like what is Isn't taking it, like so long? 
If anything, I think it's running on a new engine, and they had so many bugs and issues fixing those things. Well, Maybe whose that's why. Stupidity is that? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, they did that to themselves. But also, yeah. they're trying to make the game look better. Which uh, the gameplay that I did see looked really good compared to like all the other Kingdom Hearts that we've ever well, had. Yeah. But well, obviously, they no, it's gonna... they need to just hurry up, give you a date, just officially say, hey, it's coming out next month or next like two months, like boom, yeah. done. And then also they could say something like, yeah. "Oh yeah, and Xbox gets the whole collection." Yeah, you know, that would be nice. I want we've that. been neglecting them. So, here is the catch, though, guys. Square Enix won't be holding a traditional press conference, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. They will be broadcasting a special video presentation about yeah, the company's like E3 and the future plans. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be live streamed on Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, and of course, it'll be archived on YouTube after the fact. Uh, this will be Square Enix's first E3 presentation in three years. Yeah, what? like the other stuff that they've done, like what last year or the year before that. What they did was a stream of like trailers that were already yeah. announced, like officially, on paper, and then they would show a trailer or a screenshot, and then they would talk about it. Like other people, yeah, like uh, certain people that they I guess got together, then they would talk about it and like just break it down and say what they're looking forward to, and if it had a release date or any information. That was important. They mm -hmm. they would say that, but then that's it. That would be like very simple, and I was yeah. like, ugh, this is kind of boring. But true, I'm looking forward to seeing this this uh, stream. This like, I guess they're gonna do something like a Nintendo Direct type of video. I'm, of, I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah, Cause, but because I I want to see Shadow Tomb Raider. I want to see yeah. Life is Strange. The games we're likely uh, to expect is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, and Kingdom Hearts Three. Mm-hmm. I just so. hope that they show a little bit of Avengers. Just a little bit. I want to see the that's Avengers. that's another one they're working on. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what that's supposed to actually be. Because it's either going to be real epic or it's going to be a real epic fail. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's better than you're what taking, my brother said. You're taking my something. My brother was like, they're just going to show Final Fantasy and that's it. I was like, no. Like, it, it's you're taking a game, like, a brand that is loved by many many with comics tv movies even some games if it's not done properly it'll be a mm -hmm. fail a big epic fail i can agree with this yeah so uh that's that's the you know what's going on with square enix again guys uh that presentation will be on monday june 11th at 10 a.m pt time 1 p.m eastern time uh, mm -hmm. After that, it will be followed by Ubisoft. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. That's when you take your naps, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I did. I took. I fell asleep last year watching their Ubisoft. I think I fell asleep the year before that too. Oh no, we live streamed so. it. No, we live streamed it the year before oh, that. Oh yeah, it was the year so before that. It was that. our very That's first definitely. year doing the E threes, and yeah, so I had to. She was like, awake. "Why are they singing and dancing? I'm going to sleep." <laughs> yeah, that was the worst ever. Uh, so okay, so this is gonna be Monday, June 11th at 1 p.m. PT time and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can expect uh, Ubisoft's conference uh, is actually going to be taking place at. Uh, it's downtown LA as well. Uh, but we're guaranteed. So they're saying that we're guaranteed to see news on Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Uh-oh. Ooh. Here is it going to be again. better? Or are you going to break this one too? Uh, okay. Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Yeah, that's interesting. I yeah. thought they were going to take breaks in between Assassin's. What? I, I guess know. Not. What is going on here? Unless, uh -oh. well, no, well, hold on. They could show us something, but then release it next year. Like, mm, maybe, maybe. They could. They could be like, oh, here, and okay. then we'll release it next summer. They need to start releasing games in summer. Like, somebody needs to release games in summer. Stop putting them all at the fall. <laughs> like, seriously. Or spring. Seriously. Fall or spring. Well, no, we get games in the spring, because that's mm -hmm. when we, like... I'm just saying, that's all they do. Spring and I fall, know. that's all they we do. We need summer. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Everybody's out on summer break. Release games True. in the summer. Stop being dumb. But uh -huh. I'm not interested in this Odyssey, though, to be honest. No, neither neither am I. I'm just hoping it's not... I'm just hoping it's better than, you know, o the Origins. ones... 
No, Origins was good. I liked Origins. I just couldn't oh, okay. get into Origins. But there was, like... I played it when it first came out, and there was still some bugs with Origins. Like... Overall, yeah. it was a good game, but it's still... It's still... Something about it still didn't just take me away. Grindy, I heard. Yeah. And it had more side missions than ever that weren't really meaningful anyway. No, so, so and they don't even... The problem with it was a lot of it led you to them. And you didn't know... Like, it, when I was playing, it was a little hard to determine which were the side missions and what was the main missions. So you tend to have to do some of the crappy side missions just to even figure out where your actual mission... And it sucked because they were... Uh. I, like, one guy sent me to some island just to, like save some person which i just kept dying from stupid alligators anyways because they made the alligators like oh, yeah. like i was so I pissed those. and then come to find out that like it was like misleading because i didn't need to actually talk to that person in the first place and i was like seriously right now <laughs> like i was annoyed it was very misleading. seriously right now yeah I, i'm done with you <laughs> I was, and I played some, like, I played a good portion of it, like I do on all my streams, but I, the game couldn't draw me back, which was the problem, so mm. it kind of, it sucked with that part of it. When games start to drag on for me, I can't get back into them, and that's where I have, you know, it's for my Yeah, they need to keep games. you engaged and interested in what's going to happen next, or what you want to happen, or whatever you're doing in the game. Like, yep. I think South Park was a great Ubisoft game for you, because you were like, oh, I'm going to play it again. I played play again. so many hours. I didn't it finish it, though. Sadly, I haven't beat the game, though, but I have so many hours into that game. So Use the collector's many. edition as motivation. To I love it. that. Oh, I'm going to finish it. I am going to. I want to like get, like do some backlogs and stuff like that. And kind of lean a yeah. little away from Random Fortnite. Backlog I would day rather like some other games streamed on Mixer. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree with this. So, uh, so yeah. So and of course, there's Beyond Good and Evil too. Uh, they also say that we can expect a lot more than just that. So to keep your eyes open for Ubisoft because we're in for a real treat. Yeah. Are we though? Are we really though? I mean, I would hope so. I mean, damn, if you fall they asleep have a again, lot that's of, not good. Yeah, I know. They do have a lot of great games. That's the annoying part about it. It's just whether or not what they actually focus on. I find they focus sometimes a little too much on things that are really irrelevant. Not irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you one that a lot of people are really looking forward to when it comes to Ubisoft and that's Splinter Cell. Everybody's been talking about that game for yeah, a long time. Yeah, except nobody GTA. actually knows if it's coming. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. Everybody's all, oh my god, Splinter Cell. And then you're all going to be really disappointed when it doesn't happen. That's yeah, the that, thing. I mean, that's what people felt last year when they thought it was going to happen last year and it didn't. They were like, oh man, that sucks. Yeah. So... But, I mean, the fact that they added the whole Splinter Cell side story and all that stuff in Wildlands, I mean, that kind of gave us an indication of there might, they might be working on something in the background. Whether that's ready to be revealed or not, I don't know. You know? True. So... We shall see. Watch. Maybe. You're, you're just going to get some like weird off DLC of some other like Division game or something. Like, they'll give you Division 2, and then they'll be like, oh, you can run around looking like Splinter Cell. There's your Splinter Cell. <laughs> uh, I think they already did that in the first game, to be honest. <laughs> they did, but it's not even just that. Like, they, they kind of gave, like, the little bit of Splinter Cell when they did, um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the one in, um, Ghost Recon. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, so like they kind of like they gave you a little tease. So yeah. I don't know and if it was actually, actually the same dude that did the voice. Yeah, I his name. they did, but you didn't actually before, get to but... play as him though. Yeah, you you were just partnered with him. Yeah, so yeah. you're not good enough to actually play him. You're just good enough to to talk to him. That's it. Sorry. Yeah. But <laughs> so I know a lot of people. Of... They're looking forward to that, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> don't just don't get to don't get depressed if you don't see it because mm -hmm. again. We've had some hints, but they've crushed that pretty quick, so I don't know. I don't Michael know. Iron Sight. It yeah, will definitely, if it is, though, I think it, like if they do finally announce an actual full-out Splinter Cell game, that will probably take e 
like E3 because that is one game that everybody, even mm-hmm. though we haven't seen it every year, it's one game that everybody demands and wants so badly that it just makes it so funny because all these other games like we hear about and stuff like that, they get delayed and people are like, oh, whatever, it's done, it's over, it's delayed. But yet Splinter Cell, you don't even get it. And everybody is still like, oh my god. So it's just funny. I find it really hilarious. So, yeah. you know, keep keep yourself keep yourself close and be be, you know, be careful cuz you may not get it. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, so from Ubisoft, we head into the PC gaming show. Uh, where this will be at Monday, June 11th uh, at 3 p.m. PT time, followed by 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Of course, what to expect? You're going to expect PC games. Uh, You're going to see, (laughs) obviously, a lot of PC games. Uh, Annual events. Play anywhere, maybe? You think that they might talk to Xbox? Well, not Xbox, but Microsoft. Uh, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I guess Xbox. Because they do the whole cross-play stuff yeah, they, and, and, and the Play Anywhere shit. Yeah. So, Maybe. that's the thing. You'll probably see, like, Microsoft there because of Windows. Mm-hmm. Because they Thank do you. have, That's what like, I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, they got Windows. Uh, there's also a lot going on with, like, uh, Origins. With, um... Oh, yeah, with EA. Yeah, with EA. And there was another one that, uh... Oh, I think it... Someone else was trying, like, one of the other companies were trying to work on doing, like, a, a subscription kind of thing, so. But you have, like, obviously you have Steam, you have Windows, and you have Origins, so there should be some yep. good things that we should hear. Uh, again, they're focusing more on games than the hardware aspect of it, apparently, so it's said. I don't know if that's actually true, but there's going to be exclusive announcements, trailers, and discussions. So, we shall see. We shall see what happens. And again, guys, that is Monday, June 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Then, last but not least, uh, technically, at least for Monday, (laughs) because we still have one more after, but it's not Monday. Uh, it's so Monday, June 11th at 6 p.m. PT time and 9 p.m. Eastern time. You have Sony's E3 showcase, which will feature, of course, exclusive looks and uh, dives deep into Death Stranding because we haven't already seen that a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Spider Man, Naughty Dog, yes. The Last of Us 2, and Sucker Punch Ghost of Toshima. Toshima. Mm-hmm. So that should be interesting. Uh, Sony also promises to highlight games from PlayStation's third party publishers, partners, and indie mm-hmm. studios. Which mm-hmm. they do that every year anyway, so that I'm not really surprised about. But Yeah, but uh, this time supposedly they were gonna hold they're gonna change the the, the format of the show. Yeah. So that's why they had to say that because the first thing they said was, oh, we're only going to focus on these things. Yeah, games. I and know. people were like, what? And then they were like, well, actually, we're still going to do the other stuff, too. They were mad um, about that because they were like, wait, you're just going to only focus on this uh-huh. kind of stuff? Like, what about everything else? And Yeah, exactly. I was like, hmm. Interesting. I but... want to see more Spidey. Yeah. We've seen, like, we've seen some good things, but, you know... There's definitely a lot more that needs to come up, and I'm super excited for uh, Spider-Man and Last of Us. I still think the Death Stranding, if you don't show real gameplay, I'm done. Just take the <laughs> stupid game away and be done with it. Just it's release not ready. It. Still working on it, duh. Yeah, after so many years of constantly talking and showing. Like, they, they baby this thing way too much. Yeah, it's like a darling, way, definitely. Like, I agree with that. You have other great games. Stop babying this one, please. Like, yeah. Watch, this game's going to release, and no one's going to have any freaking idea what's going on, and it's going to be one of these, like, oh, we'll play it because very... Norman Reedus is there, but that's the yeah. only reason. Norman Reedus and his butt. I mean, that's why people are going to play it, obviously. They're going to play it. But also, you watch. Oh my God. Obscure. You know what's funny? People are going to try to play it to see Norman Reedus' butt, and his butt's not going to appear until, like, the very end. 
<laughs> and then, so you have to play the whole game just to see his butt, guys. No. Uh, I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> Isn't that so funny, though? It's going to be yeah. 17 hours of cutscenes? Oh, my God. That would not surprise me. Oh, shoot. Well, That's they're funny, just going to get all the stuff they've already showed to put it together and call it a game. Yeah, why, why, not? why not? It's going to be like a wa watch. It's You know what? I bet you I know why the reason they don't show any actual gameplay is because it's probably like a walking simulator. Oh, like Until sorry. Dawn. Wouldn't that suck? Like, it turns out to be like something like uh, uh, Until Dawn, where it's literally just... Just I don't like Until movies. Dawn because it's like a B movie, like a scary. That's movie my point, kind though. Of thing. Like it's bad acting. Why? I just have a feel like well, Norman Reedus is I hope like not. is like the biggest person they have. We know he can act at least. Yes, he could act, but I don't. I mean, damn. If anything, I can see a walking survival game because I mean, those things are coming after you, whatever those things are, and you're trying to like protect the babies. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. We we all know we're confused, but. It could be a survival game and a walking sim at the oh, same God, time. I really, oh, like, um, kind of turn it into how, what you call it is. What, uh, the Long Dark or something? No, 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 no. It'll be like something like We Happy Few. Oh, man. <laughs> I would not play it if that's the case. And what, what is with the whole babies attached to pe Like, what is, I understand it's like probably trying to like save humanity or something. But it's weird. I don't, I don't know. Like, where do people get these ideas from? Like, let's have weird babies attached to people. Like, mm -hmm. really? It's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. Nah. I get it, but I don't get it. It's, it, nah. No. No, okay. <laughs> so either way, uh, yeah, Death Stranding, there better be some real gameplay. I want to see real, actual gameplay. Not just some weird... Baby it's gonna be fake you. fake yeah. gameplay. It probably will be. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this game is gonna turn out like No Man's Sky. It's like where you expect this game to be something and then it turns out not to be that. I just I have this feeling. Yeah. I have this feeling. And that's why they're like avoiding showing any major details. <laughs> mean that and the fact that the game's still being worked on, so it's not even finished, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Again? Again. Like yes. how long do you need? Yeah. We shall see. We'll see. But, uh, so yeah. And of course we have, uh, Last of Us 2, which I'm excited to actually see gameplay from that. Uh, the first one was really good, so. Spider-Man, everybody's waiting for Spider-Man. That game looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped for Spider-Man, but I'm more on the line of, hurry up and give me this game, I want to play it. Because, I mean, there's not really that much else they have to show me. Because I already know I'm going to pick it up, right? Yeah. Uh, if anything, I'll switch it and I'll say, I want to see what they're doing with Last of Us 2. That should be interesting. Yeah, and then the last game uh, that they were talking about... Uh, oh the Ghost God. of Toshima? Yes, there we go. I, I, I just said it. I don't know how I forgot it. Uh, yeah, so I have no idea what this game is about. It's apparently actually. going to be an open world. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's been trailers on it. So if anyone's curious what this game is show. going to be, but no, yeah. what? I said I thought it was just a teaser trailer. No, apparently, like they were released back in like 2017. Apparently. Yeah, but it should be interesting. To, yeah, I'm curious to know more about it. But apparently, it could be an open world game. So probably looking at something possibly like The Witcher Three style. I think is where oh, a lot of this is I, kind of I more feeding towards back. Which, if they do, that would be absolutely amazing. At least, yeah, like, from what I was off. reading, like, I was reading a bunch of articles to see exactly, you know, where what everything is. So, that's kind of why I got that feeling. I don't know for sure, guys, so don't quote me on it. But I did get that sense that it was going to be, like, more or less an open world based style game like The well, Witcher 3. So. I'll say this now because these are the same people that have worked on um, Infamous and Infamous Second Son and the other yeah. whatever spin off of that. So they're very familiar with open world games. Now it's what they do with that world that matters more to me uh, yes. if it's like alive because sometimes when you're playing uh, 
infamous, the the city's kind of dead and nothing's really happening. Yeah. And there's not that many people walking around and you're kind of like, what? And then when you do land in certain areas, then you start seeing it getting populated a little bit more because that I guess the area loaded up better. But if they could do something with an open world where, yeah, the, the world is alive and there's stuff happening around you, then that would be cool. Now, what the game actually is about, I don't know. True. We shall see, though. We'll find out more at E3. Hopefully they don't just show teaser trailers like they do. True, Hopefully true, they true. actually show us some more. It'd be interesting. And of course, uh, the third-party publishers, which obviously are, you know, Call of Duty. Yeah, Red Dead. Red Dead, uh, the bigger ones that they got. So we'll see some more stuff from them, which uh, yeah. is always cool. Uh, I'm interested to see where they're taking Call of Duty and all that kind of stuff, so... Uh, and then, of course, we go into Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Just Who's one on Tuesday. For the one, of course, but they have to have their own day because it's, it's, come on, guys, it's Nintendo. Nintendo needs their own day. Uh, Tuesday, yeah. June 12th at 9 a.m. PT time and 12 p.m. Eastern time. So on your lunch, you know what you guys can be doing. Uh, Nintendo hasn't had a typical E3 press conference for years. Which, of course, none of us are surprised. But E3 2018 will be no different. So, uh, there they do plan to do the broadcast of Nintendo Direct-style video presentation on the morning of E3 Day 1, with the focus on game schedules for release in 2018. Which is really cool. I'm glad that they're doing that, because they're getting out what we need to see. Uh, this is going to include uh, the recent announcement of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Switch which is pretty awesome. Uh, Nintendo will follow up on the Tuesday with their video presentation with multiple days worth of Nintendo Treehouse. The Treehouse, welcome to the Treehouse. There's always the Treehouse. I like the Treehouse. Um, which will, of course, uh, be live broadcast. E3, uh, you can find on YouTube and Twitch for more. I don't know if they're going to be streaming that on Mixer. I would assume they would, but as of right now, I don't know, so I can't confirm that. But YouTube and Twitch are confirmed for streaming uh, that. Also, Sony uh, doesn't have any uh, any word whether or not they're going to be on Mixer either. It looks like they're mo more focused YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook channels. So oh, Facebook. Gross. Yeah, I, I don't get the point of that one, but whatever. So, uh, overall... What do you, like, I'm not really surprised about Nintendo, because this is just kind of how they do it. Yeah, they march to the beat of their own drums, so yeah. I don't know, like, I don't have that much to say about Nintendo. When I did my video with my wish list, I didn't even add Nintendo, to be honest. People were like, wait, what? And, um, yeah, I mean, even if there's some games I find interesting, I don't ever focus on Nintendo. That's just a side thing that I dabble with once in a blue moon or yeah. probably once a year. Um, but I think that the thing they're going to focus on the most is all the Smash Bros stuff. That's going to be like their main focus. Like last time they focused more on Zelda as opposed to anything else. Yeah. So I think they're going to do the Smash Bros thing mostly. And then they'll do like side games, little things here and there. And they'll show off, I don't know, cardboard stuff. I, I don't know. They'll do what they <laughs> usually do. And, you know, it's still entertaining, so don't just blow it off, guys. Um, you yeah, know, don't be like me. Yeah, <laughs> don't be like Fox. And then, of course, um, the last thing on the Tuesday, which I don't really find is really super mean to announce, but hey, uh, Epic Games, of course, is doing a Fortnite celebration, so... <laughs> Uh, oh so if God. you're huge on Fortnite, which I know most of the viewers on Mixer She Wolf will are, be there if you want to hang out with uh, She Wolf. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, I won't be there. I won't actually. I was not one of the lucky ones to be able to get to go to E3 for FanFest, so I won't be I going kid, to E3 at all. Which, yeah. Really, really crappy. You know, I've tried for four years now. I've tried to get to E3 for four years now. And I don't ever, ever get the freaking, like, oh my god, it drives me crazy. Drives me crazy, but whatever. 
I don't know. I guess it's just not meant to be yet. Maybe guess... you're meant to go another time. No, no. I'm probably just going to give up now because I'm kind of just. Oh. Over. Oh. Okay. <laughs> four years. Like I'm. I'm sorry, but four years. I am kind of. I think I'm done. Four years I'm done trying. Long. Yeah. I think I'm done trying. Done trying to go. Like, we literally. Oh my god. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do the draws, random draws. But yet, it seems like a lot of the same people get to go again. Yeah, so it I've... seems like it. Actually, you're right about that. Yeah, so it's just kind of depressing. Um, I've put a lot into supporting, uh, like Xbox and you know the community and all that. And yeah, so it's kind of whatever. Kind of whatever. Quick uh, shout out to the chat. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Awesome. And also thank you to anybody who listens later on. Yeah, for sure. We are we uh, we are live on Mixer.com. And of course, replays will be on YouTube.com. So if you mm -hmm. missed anything, guys, or you want to catch up on, if you're still looking for dates or whatever and you just don't want to Google it, just listen back. Um... So with that, uh, that is the E3 lineup schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule for all of you amazing people. So here, I'll do a quick, a real quick rundown of just the times for everybody. So it, uh, it will officially start Saturday, June 9th, 11 a.m. PT time, 2 p.m. Eastern time with EA going into Sunday. We have Sunday, June 10th, 1 p.m. PT time, 4 p.m. Eastern time with Microsoft. Then followed by Sunday, June 10th at 6.30 p.m. PT time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time with Bethesda. Uh, right into Developer Digital at 8 p.m. PT time and 11 p.m. Eastern time. Monday, we are hitting up on June 11th. 10 a.m. PT time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, Square Enix. Ubisoft will follow uh, at 1 p.m. PT time and 4 p.m. Eastern time with ending the day out with the PC show at 3 p.m. PT time and 6 p.m. Eastern time. Jumping to Monday. Oh, no, I screwed that one up. Never mind. PC gaming is Monday morning. Sorry, guys. So Ubisoft ends uh, Sunday, right? No, I've just completely lost myself here. Where am I? Oh, I missed. No. Ha! What a fail. We failed. I, be okay. I was. I believed in you. What happened? I know. I know. Okay, hold on. I got this. We're gonna just re like go straight. Up. Okay. Uh, EA is. Saturday, June 9th at 11 a.m. PT time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Microsoft is Sunday, June 10th, 1 p.m. PT time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Bethesda is Sunday, June 10th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, PT time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Digital or developer digital is Sunday, June 10th at 8 p.m. PT time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Monday is Square Enix. Uh... At 10 p.m. PT, 10 a.m. PT time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Ubisoft will be Monday, June 11th at 1 p.m. PT time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. PC Gaming Show will be Monday, June 11th, 3 p.m. PT time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Then going into Sony's at uh, Monday, June 11th, 6 p.m. PT time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tuesday. We'll then follow out with Nintendo at Tuesday, June 12th at 9 a.m. PT time, 12 p.m. Eastern time. There you go. Yay! There you go. There's a lot of time. So I just gotta, like, run through them. Hey, look. It was your choice to do that, and I was just supporting you back here. Uh, oh, you know? wow. Wow. It was so, my choice. And she was just supporting No, I mean to repeat all the dates and stuff. She's I mean, I believe you. in you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Thank you for <laughs> informing us. Uh, yeah, and people are going to go looking through, and that's probably just going to confuse them even more if they try to listen back through that, so. Uh, getting into other news that's going on is Destiny 2 Forsaken brings game file size up to 104 gigs. What, what the hell? <laughs> 104 gigs? Really? Are you, I like, mean... rebuilding your whole game? 
I mean, basically. Pretty I mean, much. you know, they're putting Destiny 1 inside Destiny 2. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. And that is the news that I have been waiting to hear. Is the fact that, um... What, the file size? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, the Forsaken. So... Yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I want the, like... Destiny was such a great idea, and I wanted to actually be, like, I really wanted it to go somewhere. I love the concept of it, but it just, it was such a disappointment everywhere you turn. Yeah. But, uh, I mean... so... No, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, the game file size has gotten even more and more ridiculous this generation, especially for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, and Destiny 2 is now joining on the bag wagon of ridiculousness, according to listening to the upcoming Forsaken expansion. On PlayStation stores, Destiny 2 will request uh, 104 gig free on your hard drive to be able to download it. Like, really? So, it's possibly... It could, it may not actually be 104 gigs. It could possibly be around like 85 to 90 gigs in total, which is still pretty ridiculous, but it could actually be more along the lines, but they want 104 gigs to be free. So, what I'm are your surprised. thoughts? Uh, my thoughts is I'm not surprised about that because of all the stuff that they're adding in with this DLC um, and all the things they have to fix if they want us to enjoy and play the game properly or even come back to the game. So they have to cram all that stuff in there. Uh, and I mean, they are still fixing it little by little as the months go on. Um, I believe next month they're going to add 6v6 finally to quick mm -hmm. play. But whatever, competitive is still going to stay four player. Uh, and then, yeah, and then um, this massive update that they're adding will have more lore more information and a lot of stuff from Destiny 1 that they're bringing back uh, so I'm not surprised that it is that big because I mean other than that I wouldn't want to see like a little tiny update I would be disappointed and if they only gave us a little bit of stuff for the game or for the DLC they have to make it worth your wild if anything mm -hmm. so the fact that the reef is coming back that it's like a whole new location <laughs> new let me rephrase that. That's another location, again, that they're adding into the game. So yeah. that was from the first one. Now they're adding it to the second one. So that's why that's, you know, a, a big area. And then they're adding bounties again. They're going to change the UI. So, like, the menu system is going to be different because they're adding new, you know, new stuff and everything like that. Um, and, yeah, I just, I'm kind of, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of interested in seeing all the stuff they're going to add to this. I definitely want to see. I'm, uh... I am curious, and uh, so just to just to kind of play a little bit on this. Uh, so Timidas says Quantum Break is still the king size of 170 gigs. Uh, oh yeah, because of the episodes. So actually, um, the largest game going for gigabytes is actually Gears of War 4 with 350 gigs. Wait, what? How? Yeah. If you That's take impossible. Gears of War 4 and their DLC, because you still have to count everything, everything that releases to a game, because that's why Destiny is getting put bigger, because of the fact that it's getting an, uh, an expansion. Uh, Gears of War 4 is actually, according to the internet, is actually the <laughs> lo like the largest going game with 350 gigs in total. I like how you say according to the internet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not going to um, say yeah. me, so... No, no, I get it. Um, in my like on my Xbox right now, yes, Gears is bigger than Quantum Break, but not with three hundred of whatever they said. They they must have compressed it because it's at one thirteen point four gigabytes, which is bigger than Quantum Break. So I'll give you that. Maybe the numbers are not accurate though. What's uh what's Quantum Breaks? Because Timidos is saying that it's like 170. I don't think Quantum Break is 170. Not on my Xbox. It's 102.5. Yeah. So maybe if you download all the episodes, I don't even know if I have all the episodes to be honest. Downloaded. Mm. But anyway. Well, either way, like, Gears is only 
Uh, 110 with all the DLC. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying. According to, uh... She said it, guys. According to the internet. Yeah, I did say according... I didn't say I said it. I did not quote yeah. it. Oh, see? That is with the episodes of Quantum Break, so I have everything installed. And it's not that big. Tim. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, but anyway. so... But yeah, there was actually, like, a Gears of War... There's actually, like, a Gears of War update. 250 gig update. Apparently. I don't know about that. So. Exactly. But, uh, so even, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare still beats that because it's 130 gigs. So it still oh, I beats Quantum Break. I wouldn't know. So. Interesting. Either way, either way, we're not sitting here talking about, yeah. uh, gigabytes. It's well, not actually, about the size well, that matters, guys. Well, um, we kind of anyway. are, but. Yeah, anyways. So. <laughs> back to Destiny 2, though. Uh, we're both looking yes. forward to this. Yes, yeah, so are you looking it. forward to the, the stuff that they're bringing back from the first game over to the second yeah. game, finally? Yeah, I am. Nice. I, th I think it could actually feel like a complete game if they do this right. Yeah, if they do this right, because not, I mean, right off the bat, before I mention all the cool fancy things, I'm going to say right off the bat, if you want Forsaken, you need to have the first expansion pass of 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. uh, or Cyrus, and the last one was it Warmind, I think it was called. Yeah. You need to have those to play this one that's coming out in September, which is gonna be 40 bucks. Now, they're also throwing in an annual pass on top of that, but you could buy it separately, and that, with that, is gonna be 70 bucks. Oh my god. So and then, then if in you want, other words, just sit they're, they're, and wait till Black Friday and just buy all the games in one of their little bundle thing. Yeah, they have to announce the bundles, because the bundles are not out yet, like, they haven't announced those. They're just talking about, like, the DLC separately priced, which is 40 70 and another one for 80 which has extra, you know, gun skins and loot or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but then they're going to announce the bundles later on, uh, I don't know, these coming months, I guess, this summer, where they're going to tell you, oh, if you buy it all together with the game, it'll actually probably be cheaper? I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, they are charging you for extra stuff and an annual pass, which by the way, this is a new expansion like pass type of thing that they're throwing on top of this Forsaken stuff. Because this um, annual pass that they're adding is gonna have like three expansions that are coming out in the winter, in the spring, and the summer after Forsaken. So it's up to you if you guys wanna pick that up. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what that entails. I only know what's coming with uh, Forsaken. You know, and they're gonna add new subclass special moves. So, mm -hmm. by the way, I think Blade Dancer is back, but it's not really Blade Dancer. Yeah. You're gonna have a blade with your hunter, with void, so you can run around and like stab people and stuff like that in a way. Ha. So if you're interested in that, that's coming back. I like the blade dance. I don't like being a Jedi. Sorry, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> no, but with that Jedi, you know, when you have the arc and the stick, uh, they have a new move with that, which I think is kind of lame in a way, where you, I guess, swing it around and you could dodge all the bullets and all the specials coming at you, and you could, like, deflect them mm -hmm. and throw them back. I don't know, I thought that was kind of weird. I was like, really? That's it? Uh, and then the, for the so solar, they're going to have, like, these daggers that I can throw in fire, I guess. So that's going to be interesting. I guess for the Hunter, I'm more interested in that one with their special moves. Because they are nine, so each one gets um, three, I believe. Yeah. And then with the Titan and the Hunt, no, and the Warlock, I don't know that much about them. But I know that one of them, the Warlock, gets um, like a giant laser lightning beam? I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Have you <laughs> seen that in the trailer? No. Yeah, it's crazy. You have to use it with your arc, and then you have to change your ability, and then just shoot a giant beam in front of you. At first, I thought it was going to be like a Hadouken type of thing, but it's not. It's a giant beam. So it looks like a giant laser coming out of you, and you kill everything in front of you, basically. Lasers. It's all about the lasers. <laughs> laser. Freaking laser beams. Um, yeah. And then with the Titan, the when you have your hammer out, you're going to be doing an ability where you slam it on the floor and it does a t tornado mm -hmm. and the enemy is in front of you. So that's interesting. Yeah. Again, I'm not, you know, it's not as cool as a hunter, I don't think. And then the other one would be a super jump where you come out of nowhere. Like, you could be far away and you do a super jump in the air and then you slam down 
like how you used to do before when you yeah. did your yeah well that one you could do it from a long distance somebody's calling it a super superman jump or a superman smash i don't know something like that hulk smash hulk somebody smash? says super somebody says superman because he came out of like another location far away and then slammed into you so does the hulk i thought that was super crazy. uh I do think that's kind of funny, Destiny getting all the Avengers. Technically, yep, that sounds a lot like Iron Man. I do agree with you on that one, Timidoff. Um, they're definitely taking a lot of skills from the Avengers, which is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. But uh, I'm trying to see what else they're going to change. I mean, obviously, there is a storyline with Forsaken uh, that is going to end up taking you to the Reef. At first, I was like, okay, cool. Can we finally find out what happened to the Queen and everything like that? But... They haven't mentioned anything about that, so that's still backstory that we have to figure out. Yeah. Um, and what we deal with is the pres prison of elders. They're going to be breaking out of prison. So basically, it's a prison break uh, mission that you're doing, and you're going to prevent them from doing that or stop them. Or if they do get out, you got to go catch them and defeat them and stuff like that. New raids. Be yeah, they're going to do a new raid, actually. They're actually uh, official raid, not like these baby raids that they've been doing lately. The Forsake is gonna actually have a, a brand new raid. Hmm. Should be good. Should be good. Are you guys excited for Destiny 2? Let us know. Let us know. New weapons, bow and arrow. Um. Oh my god, okay, they're also changing the way that you set up your classes, like um, your guns. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, I could have shotgun as my primary now. Yeah. That'll be smart. I can't thing wait. To do. Yeah, they they trying to they really trying to call me back with this game. Not gonna lie. We shall see. I hope that it does. I really hope that it piques people's interest again and actually brings. I just don't like the fact that you have to pay for like. I know. Part of part of part of part. I'll just wait for the freaking. I wish it wasn't so much. Yeah. I wish it was like less than that. They I mean they owe us that much. They gotta fix so many things. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why are you making us pay for a game like I, more parts of a game that you should have actually all had to begin with? So yeah, it should have been Destiny One plus the new stuff, not Destiny Two. This is a new game. Oh yeah, wait. Let's also give you the stuff that you liked from before. Which yeah, I mean, this is why I have an issue with Destiny because I like things, uh, like on, I guess on paper they look nice, but then when you play it, maybe the experience is not that great. You know? Yeah. Um, and and they're they doing a good job when they showed off the uh, the new Destiny stuff, the Forsaken reveal. I liked what I saw, but will I enjoy it when I play it? Will I be like, oh, was, this was worth 40 bucks? I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Should be interesting. We shall see, guys. Uh, I know I'm going to be looking like looking forward to it. I just don't know if I want to buy all that. I might just wait till Black Friday and then just pick up like their whole... You know how they always put like they always put the whole game together and then release mm -hmm. it? I'll yeah. probably just wait for that. Yeah, the, I think they're going to do that, definitely. Yeah, that's probably what I'll wait for, because, yeah, I can't just buy every individual piece again. It just gets too crazy. Um, so, with that, let's get into some Foxy Deals. Okay. Alright. Hold on. Somewhere. <laughs> you got this. I do. I have that. Oh no! Nope. Last I time you I were, can't like, find it. I had I had the actual loading. I don't know where it is. Uh oh. I don't know which Stat one it is. Scromo, sing on stream Maybe now. Maybe it's this one. Nope. Uh oh! Don't play craziness I... in the background. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Okay. Oh well. Take it away. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> That was amazing. I lost this scene okay. somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Craziness ensues. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Fox, and this is Foxy Deals. Uh, I'm going to point out all the best deals that I found around. Obviously, this is not everything, but this is the stuff that st set out to me. And also, I will be sharing more on Twitter. All right, so the first set... <laughs> Okay, I was like reading the chat. The first set of games I'm gonna point out are for Xbox. So these are deals with gold, and these are the ones that stood out to me. Uh, Divinity, Original Sin is ten bucks. That's an RPG game. Uh, PUBG, we all know PUBG, and that is twenty bucks. Uh, we have Monster Hunter Worlds is thirty nine. 
uh, Battlefield 1 uh, Revol Revolution, which has everything. So definitely check that out before the new one comes out. And that's 15. We have the Call of Duty World War II Season Pass, which I picked up. Uh, so finally I have more maps than the base stuff. And that's 35. And then the last one would be Batman uh, Return to Arkham. Great set of games, obviously. Check that out. I wonder if they're going to announce something new regarding Batman at E3. But this one is uh, 10 bucks, And right now Xbox is having a giant big sale because of E3. So uh, a lot of their games, more than what I said, obviously, are on sale uh, 75% off. So check that out. And obviously you can get their controllers. Uh, they're like... I guess ten or fifteen dollars off if you want a custom controller. Uh, you can get Game Pass and your gold membership for only a dollar. Uh, they are lowering the system, um, the sales. Uh, I mean, the prices of the system, but that's only on July tenth, I believe. So you could get the Xbox One S for like two hundred bucks, or you could get the X for fifty dollar, fifty dollars off. Uh, if you're interested, so Xbox is having a giant sale with this going on right now. And then over on the PlayStation side, I think they just had a deal like either last week or the week before that, which we weren't live. So, I mean, I did share a little bit on Twitter, but right now the stuff that they have on sale in their store that stood out to me is Need for Speed Payback is 20 bucks. We have Sims 4 is 25 Fee, uh, a game that she will be streaming at one point, that is 10 bucks. And Seasons After Fall, which I think is an adorable game. It has a little fox on it and everything. That's only five bucks. It's an indie game. Check it out. And then The Surge, which is not Dark Souls type game, but <laughs> from the same devs, I believe. Uh, and that is um, $12.50. So those are some PlayStation games. I'm pretty sure, not gonna lie, uh, and they do this most of the time, when E3 week does roll around, aka next week, uh, they're probably going to have more sales for PlayStation. Uh, I believe that Xbox has just started early, that's all. All right, some online deals that I found for you all. The first one would be Horizon Zero Dawn. The complete edition is 20 bucks over at bhphotovideo.com. <laughs> I'm going to uh, have the links for all this stuff on my Twitter, by the way. Uh, Monster Hunter, again, but this one is also available for the PlayStation as well as the Xbox, and that's 40 bucks on Amazon. Destiny 2, interesting. That's only 10 bucks at Best Buy. If you want to jump into it now and see, you know, I guess get ready and start leveling up your character for the new stuff, that would be cool. Uh, we also have Wolfenstein 2 is 20 for Xbox and PlayStation on Amazon. Um, what it's else? Wolfenstein? Oh, man. No. I can't <laughs> believe I'm going to say this. Ready? Pete? PSVR guys, okay. Ugh. Hey, so seriously, PS... dude, Look, don't diss it. I'm not talking. No, it's not about you, She Wolf. Listen, I'm the one that has to say it. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in PSVR, you can get the Skyrim bundle, which has everything. Um, I'm not gonna say it because we are teen rated, but um, yeah, the camera and the sticks and whatnot, you can get that stuff for only 250 bucks, and you can get it anywhere. Oh, well, actually, not anywhere. You can get it at these places. GameStop, Walmart, and Best Buy. They're having a deal. And I think Amazon is going to jump on that as well. Because supposedly they're going to be announcing a lot of VR games. But we'll see. I don't know. I have to see it to believe it. And then the last thing is um, Western Digital 4 terabyte hard drive or external hard drive. And um, you can get it for was it $88 on Amazon or ehphotovideo.com. All right, so those are all the deals that I found for you guys. Check out my Twitter if you want actual links or if you forgot one of the prices that I mentioned and send me anything if you have any other deals I don't know about. All right. What, where it. is the Horizon Zero Dawn one? Uh, H, what was it, H? No, bhphotovideo.com. Just send me the link e to that H? one. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, send me the uh send me the link for that one. Uh oh. so we'll do. With doing that, it is now going into the questions that were asked for all you amazing people that tweeted us on Twitter or linked us on YouTube. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the first one comes from Correct Gamer, who was in the chat earlier, so shout out to him. What surprise game announcement would you would give you the most excitement? Why he word it like that? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. What game announcement would I most be excited for? Alice Madness Returns Two. No wait. I know there's a which second is the one, one that they're coming. working on. The Asylum. Asylum. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would love to see an actual trailer for that at E3, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. Yeah, true. Because I don't think EA, uh, he's still trying to get EA to take the game on. Which doesn't make any freaking sense, okay? Because, uh -oh. like, first off... <laughs> what have I done? E no, EA, okay, so EA took, like, they bought Alice Menace Returns from uh, American McGree. Mm -hmm. So they own the rights to uh, Alice Menace Returns. Now, that game still sells for over $26, used today oh yeah it's a rare yeah it's it's becoming a rare game actually it is Physical. and so many yeah. people actually really really enjoy this game and yet american agrees having issues getting them to agree to a second like i don't get it yeah ea stingy uh, yeah, I don't know. That's how they are. Freaking stupid. Unless, like, America agrees, like, oh, well, I'm not going to sign over rights this time, then I guess, but... Yeah, logistics could be, like, crap like yeah, that. Yeah, like, maybe they want to keep it all. I don't know. Either way, EA, suck it up and just sign the damn freaking contract. Like, come on. But, I mean, you could mention that game. Even if you don't think it's plausible that we're going to see Asylum, would you be excited to see that? Yeah, I would. I would be excited to see Asylum. What about yeah. you? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Life uh, is Strange Gear Season 2. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, Gears. I was going to be like, eh, <laughs> Well, I don't that. know. I'm hearing mixed feelings about Gears right now, so I'm not in the hype mode yet. Oh, okay. But I guess. I can't think of anything else that would... No, you know what? Hmm. I don't know what. I guess Wet 2, which I talked about in my video, or mentioned mm. in my video. Yeah. That would be another one. I would be, like, surprised and excited. Um, excited so yeah. for well interesting interesting all right what else we got predator h2o shout out to him he says what don't you want to see on the xbox stage oh on the x oh i was gonna say death stranding but that's playstation <laughs> <laughs> on the xbox stage. oh honestly minecraft oh wow like i don't want to see minecraft I, I mean, get the idea right. that Minecraft is one of their biggest selling things. I get that. And that is absolutely amazing. But, yeah, like, show, you can show the Minecraft set. Like, they do the Xbox shows. Uh, the dailies. After. Yes, the dailies. Yes, they, they do agreed. those all week long. So dedicate one just to Minecraft, if that's what you want. But don't keep putting it on, like... The idea of E3 to take up like 10 minutes of the show when you could be showing something else when we already know about Minecraft. I it's just that's my biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. So. Um, I would say that, but I don't want to copy you, so I'll say a new Battle Royale game. I don't want to see that on Xbox oh, stage. God, another one? Yeah, so... Yeah, I agree with you, and then that's just, I'll just throw mine in there just because I'm salty about uh, Battle Royale games already, everywhere. There is a new Battle Royale game, though. It's been here on Mixer. Shh. Oh, no. It Shh. actually looks interesting, though. <laughs> you can turn people into chickens. Oh, my God. I gotta go, guys. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you can turn people into chickens. I downloaded right. it. It's free to play, so. Oh, no. Yeah. Good luck with those stream, guys. Yeah. No, Anyways. Um, all right. <laughs> So, thanks to Pred for that question. The next one is from Timberwolf. Shout out to Timberwolf in the chat. Always supporting us. Always. One of my and... main mods. Yep. Number one mod. Well, I don't know if it's number one mod. Sorry, Tim. No, nah, Tim um, Adas anyway. is, like, my number one mod. <laughs> He's always here. He's been here from, like, day one. Always been here supporting me. So day one, he... rather that. Um, he, he's, right, like, so... my number one mod. Timberwolf asks, uh, out of all the rumored games being talked about, what is the one you two are looking forward to the most uh, for the Xbox and the PlayStation? 
Wait, what? Like what the, game? The games that are rumored. The uh... rumored games. Like Fable and what else? Oh gosh, Fable. Out. Get over it, people. Gears, Fable is not coming. XCOM, Gears, ill. Um, what yeah, else no. is rumored? Um, hmm. X Capcom? No, not Capcom. SOCOM for the PlayStation. He, I don't. Mm. Uh, Bloodborne for the PlayStation. Uh, Bloodborne Two. That That's was another a, rumor. That was alright, but it wasn't really. I yeah, these know. are just rumored. I don't know, honestly. I guess the Halo game. There's a Halo Infinity game that they're talking about. That might be good. It might be a side story or something. I don't know because there's so many rumors like, oh, Halo might be Battle Royale. No, Halo might be this or Halo might be that or bat You know what I mean? And it's kind of like I don't know what, what the yeah, heck's going on. See, I, hmm, I don't know. I re honestly, I don't have an answer for that because I'm really not one to pay attention to the rumor like rumored games. Yeah. Rumored and leaks, I try to avoid highly. Yeah, I but, don't. Um, I guess for the Xbox side, I'll say a Halo <laughs> side story, not the main Halo game, which I hope to see as well. But supposedly there's going to be a Halo side story, so I guess that one. And then the other rumored game would be SOCOM that I heard yeah. about the PlayStation this morning. Hmm. So I think that's about it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have an answer. I don't pay attention, like I said, I don't pay attention to rumors, so I actually don't know majority of the rumored games that are coming. Yeah. So, I don't pay attention to that crap. Why? Because majority of the time, it's crap! <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I don't like getting my hopes up on things. I never have. Yeah, true. Always keep the expectations in check when it comes to this stuff. Well, um, I just do that with life in general. I don't get excited about anything. It's pointless. If you're not excited, then you can't be let down. Uh, what's the, what other questions do we have? Are we still on the Foxy Deals page? I just looked up and saw Foxy Deals. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, um, okay, yeah. the next question is from Scrotum. Actually, Scromeo. Um, so he asked, Do you think after being in game preview for two years and all the changes they've made to the game that we'll see one a uh, final trailer for We Happy Few with a release date during E3? Question mark. Hashtag for gaming done. Um. Again, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they're going to be at E3, no. in my opinion. Uh, they, sh they showed a couple different trailers. I know they've updated a lot, which is cool. Uh, but they need to have more word of mouth. Yeah. And the community... The, the, the community they built up when they were kickstarting this game and then they sold or they partnered up I'm not going to say sold because I'm not sure on that but they partnered up with Gearbox so they could promote the game and have a special edition and they were going to supposedly release it on April of this year, that didn't happen so now the game is delayed but we don't know when it still yeah, says 2018 on it it still says happening. 2018 yeah I don't yeah. know. Yeah, they're they're not gonna. I don't. We Happy Few has already had their limelight a couple of years ago when they were supposed to release, and then when they released of being a game that a lot of people didn't expect it to be, they they kind of they cut themselves pretty short there. So I I don't. I, yeah, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Yeah. I mean, I could see them do a comeback later on. I don't know if I can see them at E3 at all though. No. Um, they could come back later on and, and do another official trailer and talk up the game better, but maybe they'll rely more on uh, the media and the articles better for that aspect. Yeah, but we I shall see. I know, I think they're having issues in Australia right now releasing the game or planning to release the game because there's drugs in the game and they encourage you taking the happy pills uh, and Australia is like, no, nah, we're not... We're not happy with that. Yeah, we that kind of like comes so if... out like we're promoting. Yeah. yeah, so if the game does come out, it might not even come out in Australia. Yeah. So, anyways. Any other questions? Right, the next question. Yes, we have two more. One is from Timidos, um, and he asks, what would you... What would be your... Oh, sorry. What would be your dream game to be announced at E3? Wow, my dream game? <sighs> holy, holy Wait, jinkies. What? Why do we always get asked this? What, your dream game? Yeah. For E3? It, 
it's E3 this time, but it's always <laughs> like the same form of question. What would be your dream game if you could create any game? What would it be? Like... No, this is not create. This is just like your dream game come true. Yeah, so it's the I'm... same thing. <laughs> Creating one and just like want like like ah. <laughs> How about instead okay. of my dream game, just create games that are actually working and what they're supposed to be. There you go. I would be happy. Oh my... I do not oh need a God. dream game. I need like just games that are actually what they're supposed to be. Okay. I kind of forgot what I was going to say now because of your little rant. <laughs> what was I going to say? It'll come I, back I, I don't you. know. Um, I guess what I wanted to say was or something like this would be um, a Gears game but with Anya again on it. That would be a dream game of mine. So she, I don't know. So they could explain what happened to her. I was going to say she did. Like, so I want to see more Anya. She dead. Dead, 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 uh, dead. Damn. Great. I have no idea if my mixer's even still working, guys, so... I don't see my video anymore. I don't see my chat anymore. I see it. You still see it? Alright. As long as you can still yes. see it, we're good then. Um, I could also... I could... I mean, a couple years ago, I would have easily said my dream game is a Buffy game that's, like, really good and could live on. But I'm like, damn, I don't know that's if that would work anymore. That's probably why he asked that, because he's on this huge kick of, like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer right now. Yeah. I, I do know that. That's true. Imagine if they had Buffy, like, um... A world like Buffy, like Sunnydale or something. Or even the new location that there are... They're, they're in, in the comic books. Mm -hmm. But, like, Vampire. Like, the game Vampire. That would be cool. I would run around. Okay, like there that. you go. I That's like my vampire. dream game. Because she will have crushed all my hopes and dreams for Anya. <laughs> she <d> <laughs> well, no, your your idea of like to explain what happened to her makes perfect sense, but yeah, I want to know what happened. Because they were like, hey, by the way, this she's gone, and yeah, I was she's just dead. like, what? Sorry, she what dead. do you mean? Get over what it. What happened? She's dead. Um, I, I'm not gonna get over it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant like they're like, oh, just get over it. She's dead. Oh, yeah, they yeah. said that to me. How rude. Yeah, um, Alright, so are you gonna are you gonna mess with the question anymore or no? No. Okay. Oh, sorry, Tim. Um, Alright, so the next question is from G Man. Uh, by the way, all of these questions are coming from Twitter, so thank you to everybody who asked us questions on Twitter. Uh, and he says, "What do you ladies think of the info on Crackdown Three? Um, that will be what will be at E Three Sunday." Okay, so the fact that E3 is on Sunday, what do you think of that? Wait, is the question the fact it's on Sunday or the fact that they're talking about Crackdown 3? Uh, okay, I'll read it again because I even confused myself. What do you ladies think? <laughs> uh, the, I, the info on Crackdown 3 will be at E3. Yeah, so they're asking about Crackdown about 3, not yes. actual... Honestly? By the way, we didn't even get into the fact that, like, you know, details on Crackdown, but it's fine. I forgot about that part. Well, t yeah, well, time, we're already at, like, 2 o'clock, so. <sighs> well, so, okay, we know it's releasing uh, February 2019. Again, this yes. this is another one of those games that we just heard so much about that I'm just kind of, whatever... I, so you don't I, care if it if I, it's I mean supposedly it's going to be so you don't care if they show it again at E3. No, the day it releases is the day I will care about it. Sorry, okay, okay. I guess I'm just yeah. Um, for me, I thought that was interesting because I've said this before millions of times, which is I don't want to see Crackdown unless they have a release date at E3. Like I thought they were gonna announce it on the stage, but then they didn't. They announced it yesterday. Um through Window Central and, and Jazz and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, so if they do show it this Sunday, which supposedly they are, what are they going to talk about? What are they going to show? Interesting. Yeah. So now I'm intrigued. And also, I have a feeling, because of people talking and rumors, that they might actually have a beta available to play after E3. So maybe. Uh, they're there for a reason, not just to show another trailer, because we already know the release date. Yeah. So I just think it's interesting that they would still show them on the stage. So hopefully they have something new True. to show off about it. 
Very true. Yes. So that's all the questions. Awesome. All right. Well, then with the end of the questions, you guys all know what that means. Uh, it is the end of the show, but, but guys, uh, you can catch the replays. You can also catch us on Twitter, hanging out, 